so hey guys so today i'm back with another video and we're there for part two of the video of how to create um marvelous designer to z brush to blender so as we saw in the last video we had like two dresses that we did so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the uv map for the zbrush dress so we're gonna off the dress with the little eye and we're gonna click on the zbrush the dress that we did we're gonna go right here into object mode go into edit and then to pull out the clothes you do this proportional editing tool if ever you don't see it you can drag on the little mouse and it will like shift it so you'll be able to see this tool then you do this little wave right here and you do connect it only you do j or g any one on your keyboards but it's supposed to like give you a circle and you like scale the circle out with the middle mouse key then you're gonna stretch it on the green side just like that make sure you like pull the middle out so this is what you can also use to like scale it to different bodies and yeah so then you pull it down G, grab and pull it down so then I'm going to remove it and I'm going to just shift the dot inwards because I don't want the dot to go like so far to the sides shift it inwards so now we're going to do the UV mapping so the UV mapping to make it happen you're going to go in the corner of your blender screen then you will see like it will do like a little plus time like this and you're gonna pull it out you're gonna go into this little tool right here and you're gonna go to UV editor so once you have that you're gonna go like on the side of your dress you can either use those things or like use your middle mouse key to pan it around to shift middle mouse key and drag it and you're gonna select the line the alt double click sometimes it might show you multiple lines and sometimes it might give you one line so we're gonna do UV mark sim and we're gonna do this out double click UV mark sim we're gonna do the same thing for the other side so it's gonna be double click and you see you selected the whole row so then we're gonna do mark sim and now we're gonna go at the top and do the same thing out double click and mark sim same thing for the other side out double click and mark the sim take this little piece and mark sim so now this is what your dress is going to be looking like when you're going to like mark the sim then you're going to do a u to unwrap then you click on unwrap and your uvs is going to appear on this 3d window on the side that you just opened so you're going to do L to select one face. You select the face that are like upside down. You go on this square box. Then you do R to rotate. You zoom in with the middle mouse key. And you do S to scale a bit down. So this is the UV maps for your dress. Then you do left click select. So saying that your stuff is like that to select both of them is left click you drag and you select both you do uv map and you do uv export and you export the dress in the folder where you want the uv to be so i'm gonna put dress good i'm gonna just give it a name like that and i'm gonna put dress uv and then i do export layout so this is what your dress should be looking like after you're done so go ahead and make sure you save your project always and we're gonna go to the part where we can add some more details to the dress saying that you want to do the crisp part on the dress and you find that your dress is like too simple well 
you go ahead and um you select the bottom line alt double click e as to extrude out a little bit thick not too much okay then you go click on this little tool go on the middle line alt select the whole row then you go to item so if this bar is like down you can pull it on the side you have a little arrow you pull it out on the side you go to item and you bring up the bevel and the crease then you're gonna go ahead select the row at the top so you do alt click the row s to scale it out and you pull it down you scale it you like you adjust it so you gotta be really like this and you pull it up a little bit so you gotta be looking like this if you want to do the crease then you're gonna go to your loop cut and add some loop cut right there so when you're gonna go back in your object mall you see you just got a little crease at the bottom and there you go this is how you do it so if you want to do around the arms and around the neck is the same way you got to do it so now that we got this we want to do a high poly and a low poly now we're gonna go in modifiers add a modifier and then we're gonna do multi resolution so if you want to like have this little thing telling you like the amount of triangles you have so my dress has 10,000 triangles you're gonna slide on your screen meet a mouse key go here and normally this should be off you are on it so you can see how many triangles the dress have and you're gonna subdivide once so this is gonna be your lowest poly right here and you're gonna subdivide twice and this is gonna be your high poly but you don't save it so we're gonna draw some creases on the dress I'm gonna go scroll back like this and you go to sculpt mode and you're gonna click on the second box right here you're gonna make sure it's on the plus sign and then if you want to like draw Chris you can for beginners you go to textures no stroke and you do stabilize so you just you'll get a red line that will give you some straight lines okay so it will be easier then you go negative and it will like do it underneath and it will push it in so you will get some creases like this bring down on the radius of the smooth tool and you smooth them to the sides like that and this is how you get the criss so we do it again you draw a line not with the negative make sure you're on the plus so you draw a line right there and say no line right there and you go on the negative and you do another line underneath and another line underneath right here so it's gonna be looking like this but you gotta make sure it's way better than what I did it's just case of example okay so mine my knee so where I want to put the crisp is mostly here so I'm gonna just draw under the boob to make it go under like that and I want to take here this straight and under the other boob and yeah this is how you make it work so you just make sure you get it right under the boobs and then you're going to use the smooth tool well I like to outline the boob area so it's like really depending on what you want for your outfit you're going to figure it out but I like to underline the boob area so this is what my boob area is looking like and saying I want to add like a little edge around it I'm going to go here plus two and do a little 
edge around the dress like there so it can look like less flat they gonna have like some more volume to it so now I can go down and do the same thing downwards do this and then we do this right here and we're gonna do this in the corner right here and then you're gonna do smooth tool and you're gonna smooth it out so normally if you followed everything you should be a pro by now okay you definitely should so you go here and then you go negative and you like scrunch it in right there you go take the sides and scrunch it in right there this is how if you want to do some crisps you can make it happen and then always get your smooth tool and smooth it out not too much but just a little bit I'd say definitely will not be the best dress ever because it's just for the sake of the tutorial but yeah this is what your dress should be looking like And maybe I can add some on the, the hip side. P2 plus. And then I'm going to add some here. And here. And you do this. I'm going to be able to go talking at this point. She's like, you know, let me be. Mm, I don't know if I like that. I really don't know. Mm, do I like it? Maybe if I do it on the other side, I don't know if I like it. Um. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna. Uh, on the other side and see if I'm gonna like it. After it's just for the sake of this video, so it will not be the best dress, okay? I'm gonna say it. Will not be the best dress, but at least you guys gonna grasp something. Okay, so we're gonna smooth it out like that. Take it out from here. So yeah, just make sure that it's smoothed out properly. And your dress or your top or whatever you decide to do. If you do like the crisp, how I showed you, you should get something that looks fine and not like mine. <laughs> but yeah, just for the sake of this video, this is what my dress is looking like. It's giving mad woman dress, but it's okay, okay? Um, for the back, if you want to go ahead and work on this, you can. You just use this crystal and you crisp it a bit more. The same thing. Plus, you drag a line right here. Negative. You drag a line underneath. And then use the smooth tool and you smooth it out. So this is how you can make it work. So I'm just going to leave my dress like that. Okay. Um, And what we're going to do is since we want a high poly and a low poly. We're going to like have to go object mode. Do shift D to duplicate. Enter. So we'll have one ZBrush and one ZBrush one. So you're going to put um, high poly. And there you're gonna put low poly. Nope. Let me write it back. Press. 
super. And low poly. So you're gonna hide the low poly, click on the high poly, then you're gonna apply the subdivision as two. So this one is gonna be your highest poly. Then you're gonna off this one, click on the low one, and you're gonna load this down to the number one. So this is gonna be your low poly. So when you off the body, it's only gonna be 43 vertices. So you're gonna to use this as your low poly. So you're gonna apply and you're gonna export out your low poly. So export wavefront OBJ, select it only. Go in where you save your UVs, you do dress low poly, export, and then you're gonna go back high poly, click on the dress, you do export wavefront. And you change the LP to HP, so high poly, then you export it out. So once you have your low poly and your high poly, well, you're good to go. There you can just save it. And in the other video, I will show you guys how to go along and get your dress into Substance Painter. And we'll be able to check on the rigging part for the part after. So this is all for the video of today and i really hope you guys like it i'm gonna see